uh, and privilege for me to have the opportunity to be with you today because this is my first time in the eastern part of the country. Um, I've been in Kathmandu several times, but I am very keen and want to see the other institutions around the country who are delivering these really well-developed, high quality sort of programs. And I think it's important as well that we provide students like yourselves the opportunity to be able to study locally close to your homes after you leave school to help you decide in your next own next learning and career journeys. Uh, and this is a fantastic opportunity for you to do that with the advanced diploma in hospitality management. As Roshan mentioned, um, the certification is very highly recognized internationally. And that's very important because so many organizations and places and people have certificates. But what do those certificates mean? They've got to have real value and they've got to have real standing. And we take great pride, but we also have a great due diligence processes about the partners that we work with overseas. Scottish Qualifications Authority has been going for some 100 years in Scotland and working internationally for 30. And it's so important for us to work with the right partners to help support education systems all over the world. Because as part of Scottish Government, we're committed to global interaction and to working with countries to help develop education systems so that all young people can have opportunities to learn, to earn, to experience what life has for them at home or abroad. And I think that's one of the unique things that the Advanced Diploma Programme offers you as students. It offers you the, a student's opportunity to go straight out into the workplace when you finish, but also allows you, as Roshan was saying, to get credit transfer. And Roshan and his team, and also at SQA in Scotland, we work tirelessly with global universities and business institutions to have the recognition of qualifications and credit transfer options. So the opportunity to not only go straight into the workplace as a highly skilled young professional, but also to continue your studies, whether it be in Kathmandu, or whether it be in Dubai, or whether it be in Australia or in the UK, whatever it may be, it gives you choices, and it gives you options, and it gives you opportunities. But not only does it give you those opportunities in terms of your industry sector of hospitality, but what you're learning along the way, you don't even realize that you're learning. So your communication skills, madam, beautifully done. Your problem solving skills, your team building, your team working when you're doing projects together, when you're preparing for assignments, when you're working in the kitchen, whether you're housekeeping, problem solving, timekeeping, so important in hospitality and in all industries, interpersonal communication skills. I bet you each and every one of you over the last two years has massively increased their own digital and technology skills as we've all faced the pandemic together and relied on IT and technology. Who would have thought we'd have been living our lives through Zoom or in your cases through TikTok or YouTube? Who would have known that two, three years back? But all of these things help. They are all part and parcel of the skill set that you as young people are developing along with your very industry specific um, sector of hospitality and management. And this creates confidence, it should create confidence in yourself to go out into the world or into further studies, to do your best, to be the best that you can be, and to be brave and to take, seize those opportunities wherever they come along. So I'm delighted and honoured to be here and wish you sincere good fortune and good luck in the future. Thank you. Yeah.